good Tuesday morning, everybody. It is the 1st of October. Can you believe it? Uh, so today, uh, it's the feast day for St. Therese of the Little Flower. It's happy feast day to the parish down the road a bit. Uh, as well, uh, happy birthday to my nephew-in-law. Uh, Chris, Chris married, uh, is married to one of my nieces. He's a great guy, a great father, uh, a fun person just to be around. So... Uh, he doesn't usually watch these videos, but happy birthday to him. Uh, our gospel today is from Luke chapter 9, verses 51 through 56. And I'm laughing at it, and I'm enjoying it, uh, because to me, it, it speaks to me about, and challenges me about passive aggressiveness. You know, being saved, being free, uh, means, I think, being free of that, that passive aggressiveness passive aggressiveness, either from myself or from others. If you look at that gospel, you know, uh, the, the re disciples didn't get the reception that they wanted. And so, Jesus, let's strike him down. Let's get back at him. Of course, that's not passive aggressive. That's almost overt aggressiveness. But still it applies. And Jesus is like, let it go. Move on. See, Jesus doesn't care about that stuff. And I think when, when I am not so ego-bound, referring to yesterday, when I am more humble, more rest assured that I am a child of God, all that other stuff really doesn't matter. And, you know, and when I don't need to get passive-aggressive, of course, no one does need to, but, you know, when I, when I said yesterday, when I get angry or fearful, I write that down, I try to figure it out, because I, I can get into that passive-aggressive mode, but being more assured of myself as a child of God being that, that experience that freedom, I'm less inclined. And also, what I find is that when people try that four-letter word on me, uh, I don't. I'm less inclined to be manipulated by that as well, which then ends up making them even worse, more angry, and so it just melts. So, I think for all of us, okay, again, this this humility that we need, this being centered in ourselves as a child of God, uh, this control of the ego that Jesus. Jesus is teaching us and wants us to have is also this freedom to be, you know, to stand away from these, these actions that divide us, passive aggressiveness, over aggressiveness, whatever's going on. So that, that's a challenge for us, you know. Again, how centered are we as a child of God for experiencing that freedom that Jesus gave us? Okay? Hopefully that made sense. Okay, guys, enjoy the day. Ought to be nice, a little chilly, but hey, it's fall. Uh, take care. Bye-bye.